Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Friday. It is April 19th, six sleeps away from the 2024 first round of the NFL Draft when stuff's about to get real for the Chicago Bears. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by our Chicagoland Chevy dealers, who are the official truck partner of the Chicago Bears, a greater Midwest exteriors quality and craftsmanship you can trust. Find them at gmechicago.com. All right, folks, as I said, six sleeps away, and then Blank's about to get real. And guess what? Tom Pelissero, who's really tapped in, NFL Network, we all follow him. Tom Pelissero had a great scoop today about the Bears. Let me make sure I get this right so I read it to you. When Williams made his pre-draft visit a couple of weeks ago to Lake Forest, the Bears had him go to dinner with a few key players. Team officials have stayed in touch with Williams since via video chat sessions just talking football. I love it. There still is a matter of agreeing to a contract, which could be more complicated than a normal slotted deal, given the uniqueness of Caleb's draft process thus far. But sources say the quarterback's conversations move, Kitty, with the Bears have been very frank and very positive. You got to move, Kitty. Listen to this now. The Williams camp sent the message early about what it wanted, investment and infrastructure to help Caleb reach his next goal of chasing Tom Brady and winning Super Bowls. And the Bears so far have delivered. Said a veteran AFC assistant coach, Caleb is clearly number one. There's always a bust percentage, but the talent level is as good as I have ever seen. So whether you're all in on the Bears drafting Caleb, since this became clear when we knew they were going to get the number one pick and Carolina was horrible during the season, or you wanted to keep Justin, a legitimate discussion. Got a little crazy, but legitimate. Hearing how different this regime is handling things to set up the infrastructure for a new franchise quarterback has got to have you fired up. So my Oasis restoration question of the day is a simple one. Now that this is going to happen, Have you allowed yourself to dream about what it would be like to have a top five quarterback in the NFL? Like for a decade, like the Packers have had, like the Chiefs have had, like we need to have. Never happened in my lifetime. Okay, post your answers. Be honest. If you don't, that's cool too. You still have a chance to win. Lou Malnati's will get you a gift card to go to dinner. Try the Mike's Hot Honey Pizza. It's a limited time offering. Deep dish or thin crust, LouMalmatis.com for locations near you. Is Jaden Daniels not on board with the commanders with the number two pick? This is a quote from Adam Schefter on Get Up This Morning. It didn't seem to go over too well with the agent for Jaden Daniels, Ron Butler, who sounded off on social media last night that he did not seem particularly pleased with the process they've been going through. Caleb loves the Bears process. Jaden Daniels doesn't love the commanders. Many people think Jaden Daniels will wind up being the number two pick, but the commanders now have essentially opened up the process because Daniels is not happy. Bulls in heat tonight in South Florida. Alex Crusoe said despite his sprained ankle the other night, he's planning on playing. And get this one, our Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing Electric story of the day. This is a story like about time it happened. College football is adding helmet communication at the highest level, FBS games. Two-minute timeouts at the end of each half. We've never had them. And there's a few other changes in there, but you can now have communication. Novel concept. Cubs pounded the Marlins. Recap up on the channel. White Sox in Philly tonight. Crochet gets the start. Recaps after Sox and Bulls. I'm in Portland visiting my son and daughter-in-law. You have a great weekend. We'll be watching the game together tonight. Take that.